Ah. Bro, Dali. Bro, Dali. What's up? What's up, now? Bro, Dali. It's been a long time. For the past three weeks now, nobody has seen you in church. What's happening? challenging moments for me. Sincerely, I've been having lots of issues in my mind. And somehow, because of the tainted image of the past, I just can't see myself being in church anymore. That is it. I've done so much. What is it? What, what's, what's actually the problem? What is actually the problem? The fact, what? Is, the fact is, I have messed up so much. Like, my past is horrible. My even as a Christian, my past is horrible. Even at the fact that I knew the truth, that the things I simply did was not right, but I kept doing it because I just couldn't probably control the appetite of my flesh. And somehow I made terrible mistakes, even with sisters in the church. And that's why sometimes coming to church is a problem. Mm. How can I come with that tainted image? You know, it's really, it's really... Oh, my brother, and, my brother, my brother. I understand, I understand how you feel, but let me paint a scenario here. Assuming you are going to a business meeting and um, unfortunately a taxi driver um, slashed um, dirty water on your clothes. Do you stop going for the business meeting because of the dirty clothes? No. You will need to go home or look for a way to freshen up and then continue your journey because it's a very serious business meeting. The same thing happens in our race, in our heavenly race. You don't run away from God because you sinned you run to god because it is he that has the power to cleanse you this is the time for you to come boldly before the throne of god and obtain mercy and find grace at this point in time of your life this is when you need the mercy and the grace of god the more so you don't run from god because it is only he that will grant you that grace and mercy so my brother i encourage you to to make that time separate yourself from the activities of this world and and seek the face of god how will they see me if I come to church? Being the hypocrite I am, being in church and placing my hands in worship, being in the altar and leading an opening prayer, and all the rest of it I've messed up in the past, and most of the sisters are amongst those I messed up with. I wouldn't, I, the shame is too much. The I, shame is too much. God may likely forgive me, but what do you think? The, 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 the shame is too much. Just like um, in the case of the prodigal son, God is ever ready to accept you. God is ever ready to accept you. God is missing you as I'm talking to you. God is really, really missing you. You don't run away from God because you sin. You run to God. You, the enemy wants to truncate your destiny. That's why he's placing those things in your mind. He has seen the big picture of your life. So he's trying to, to make sure you don't fulfill the purpose of God for your life. But I just have a question to ask. Okay. Because I know God is going to forgive me if I pray and if I ask and for and seek Him. You know. But somehow I'm thinking about the essence of acceptability in the church. But they, are they going to accept me amidst noticing the fact that I have become I, I was actually an obstacle to some sisters? This is one of the devices of the enemy. The devil is trying to lay hold of your mind. Let's meet in church tomorrow. We'll talk about this. Believe, I believe you, you will come back to your feet. Amen. The devil will never have you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for the life of your son. Thank you for the devil will not triumph over this soul in the name of Jesus. I pray, O oh Lord, that he is coming back to you. We refuse to lose him in the name of Jesus. Amen. The devil will never have an upper hand in this life.